Hello, I'm Nicky Gredo. I'm the Chief Executive of the Gibraltar Tourist Board. Welcome to Gibraltar. On behalf of myself and all Gibraltarians, we're about to take you on a visual journey. Have you ever thought about Gibraltar other than our famous limestone rock standing proudly behind me at 426 meters? Or the well-known Barbary macaque monkeys running free in our nature reserve? Gibraltar is much more than you can imagine. Our history, culture, nature, and geographical location is a perfect match for your next film, documentary, or series production. Why? Sit back and enjoy. It's time to be enlightened. Gibraltar is situated at the southern tip of the Iberian Peninsula. It is recognized historically as the southernmost point of Europe, and it is also strategically positioned at the western end of the Mediterranean, forming one of the ancient pillars of Hercules. The nearby countries are Spain to the north and Morocco to the south, on the other side of the strait 24 kilometers, 15 miles away. Did you know that due to Gibraltar's unique location, you can visit three countries and two continents in 24 hours. That means you could have breakfast in Gibraltar, lunch in Spain, and dinner in Morocco. How cool does that sound? Gibraltar is warm throughout the year. With hot summers and mild winters, during the summer months from May to September, it can be very hot and humid. Gibraltar boasts around 300 days of sunshine a year. Temperatures can rise above 30 degrees from May to September. Winters in Gibraltar are mild with sunshine and temperatures around 17 degrees and with only occasional rainfall. Pound sterling is the currency in Gibraltar. Bank of England issued notes and UK coins are accepted. Euros are also accepted in Gibraltar. There is no VAT locally, so your crew can enjoy some shopping before taking off. Throughout its history, Gibraltar has been inhabited by a range of different cultural backgrounds, including Spanish, Genoese, Maltese, Moroccan, Jewish, Indian, Portuguese, who combined with the British settlers to form a varied and multiracial community. The religion practiced in Gibraltar is predominantly Roman Catholicism. However, other Christian denominations and other faiths, such as Jewish, Muslim, Hindu, Baha'i, and Jehovah's Witnesses are also present. Gibraltar is a shining example of how all races and followers of different religions can live together in a peaceful and harmonious environment. As a dedicated community, Gibraltar will bring together all necessary essential services to collaborate and make your production a success. The Royal Gibraltar Police has the expertise to assist where needed. When it comes to services, Gibraltar has a lot to offer for your production requirements. Local DMC companies with wide experience in international events will organize all that's required to facilitate your stay, including accommodation, transport, catering, medical care, security, and many other services you may require. Getting your cast and crew to Gibraltar is possible via land, sea and air. Fly into Gibraltar with regular flights from the UK or charter your own flight. You can also arrive through our land frontier with Spain. Due to its unique geographical location, Gibraltar relies daily on import and export logistics. Local-based companies have extensive experience in importing and exporting cargo from all over the world. Transporting your equipment can be possible via sea, land and air. 
Obtaining a filming permit in Gibraltar is simple, even though it requires prior notice. Traffic control is coordinated with Royal Gibraltar Police and the Transport Commission. Filming in private owned areas must be coordinated directly with the property owner. There are currently no fees required to obtain filming permission in Gibraltar. Gibraltar has been for many years the scenery for many productions, from short films to documentaries, including large international productions. Let's take a tour around Gibraltar by land, sea and air. Across the runway of Gibraltar's airport, a unique airport where aircraft and traffic cross paths. As the runway is divided by the main road that provides access to Gibraltar from its land frontier with Spain. You can catch amazing views of the Rock of Gibraltar from the airport's modern terminal before you board your flight. Victoria Stadium is a multi-purpose stadium located close to Gibraltar Airport just off Winston Churchill Avenue. It was named after the wife of philanthropist John McIntosh. Catalan Bay is a small bay and fishing village in Gibraltar on the eastern side of the rock, away from the main city. This beach was always a popular choice until violent sea storms swept most of the sand away a number of years ago. Eventually, Major works transformed Sandy Bay into a once again sizable beach, laid and enlarged with approximately 50,000 tons of sand imported from the Western Sahara. The Gorham's Cave Complex is the name given to the area covering some 28 hectares on the east side of Gibraltar, from sea level to the top of the rock. In July 2016, it was inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its exceptional testimony to the occupation, cultural traditions and material culture of Neanderthal and early modern human populations through a period spanning approximately 120,000 years. At the end of the Rock of Gibraltar, the area is flat and occupied by such features as the Trinity Lighthouse, which dates back to 1841 the University of Gibraltar, a multi-purpose sports complex, and a mosque. On a clear day, views of North Africa, Ceuta, and Spanish nearby towns can be enjoyed, providing breathtaking scenes. Stand on top of the rock and you feel as if you were on top of the world. Europe is at your feet. Africa fills one horizon, while the gates to the Mediterranean and the Atlantic are on either side. Located inside the Upper Rock Nature Reserve, St. Michael's Cave is a series or network of caves made of limestone. The cave makes a unique auditorium for concerts, ballet and drama and has been in use as a theatre since the early 60s with capacity for 600 persons, as well as being open for visitors. The tunnels accommodating what amounted to an underground city. The entire 16,000 strong garrison could be housed there along with enough food to last them for 16 months. Within the tunnels, there were also an underground telephone exchange, a power generating station, a water distillation plant, a hospital, a bakery, ammunition magazines and a vehicle maintenance workshop. The total length of the entire tunnel network inside the rock is approximately 34 miles, 52 kilometers. Excavated during the Great Siege, the labyrinth of tunnels known as the Great Siege Tunnels are perhaps the most impressive defense system devised by man. The Northern Defenses, a formidable section of 18th century military defenses medieval fortifications 
and World War II installations where centuries of military history can be explored. Gibraltar's iconic cable car is a great way to see the views from the top. The Gibraltar Botanical Gardens the Alameda Gardens is the botanical garden in Gibraltar, spanning around six hectares. Within the complex, you will also find the Alameda Wildlife Conservation Park, an oasis for exotic species in Gibraltar. Opened on Thursday, the 12th of June, 2014, this is the first public park built since the Alameda was opened in 1816. Main Street, Irish Town, Engineer Lane and other quirky side streets form the center of Gibraltar's commercial district and is the scene of some of the best value shopping in the Mediterranean. Grand Casemate Square is the larger of the two main squares within the city of Gibraltar. The square takes its name from the British-built Grand Casemates, a casemate and bomb-proof barracks at the northern end of the square completed in 1817. The convent has been the official residence of the Governor of Gibraltar since 1728. It was originally a convent of Franciscan friars, hence its name, and was built in 1531 and heavily rebuilt during the 18th and 19th centuries. Due to its incomparable location between three continents, Europe, Africa and Asia, Gibraltar is an ideal port of stop for superyachts. There are a number of marinas that can cater for the berthing of superyachts in Gibraltar. Mid Harbour Marina, Ocean Village and Queensway Key Marina. Only a nine minute stroll from Gibraltar International Airport and the frontier, Ocean Village offers vibrant seafront restaurants and bars, as well as a five-star luxury super yacht hotel and two casinos. With its impressive backdrop of luxury apartments, restaurants, shops and bars, Queensway Key Marina nestles in the heart of Gibraltar, giving easy access to all of the attractions it has to offer. The Port of Gibraltar benefits from its strategic location, which has made it a maritime gateway between the Atlantic and the Mediterranean. With its location the crossroads of global trade, the port has become the largest bunkering port in the Mediterranean, and a prominent maritime staging post open to vessels of all types and sizes. Rosia Bay is the only natural harbour in Gibraltar. Located on the southwest side of Gibraltar, 